end of a line is 30 mm in front of VP and 30 mm above HP. <coughs> the line is inclined at 40 degrees to HP and its top view measuring 60 mm is inclined at 50 degrees to XY line. Draw the projections of the line and determine true length and inclination with VP. So when you are considering the three dimensional <coughs> view, he says one end of a line is 30 mm in front of VP and 30 mm above HP. So when you look from the front view, we can see the distance which is above HP, which is 30 mm. That image, when you look from the front view, the image will be projected onto the vertical plane, which is 30 mm above HP. You can see here. So this point is small a dash. And similarly, 30 mm in front of VP, when you look from the top view, we can see the distance 30 mm in front of VP. So this distance, when it is projected, it will be projected onto the horizontal plane. You will going to get small a. The line is inclined at 40 degrees to HP. So that means the true inclination of the line is inclined at 40 degrees to HP. So we can see that the true inclination of the line which is inclined to HP at 40 degrees. So you will going to get the locus of B provided when you know the length of the true length. But he has not given the length of the true length but instead he has given at his top view measuring 60 mm is inclined at 50 degrees to the XY line. So we can see here the top view measuring 60 mm. So we have the small ab which is measuring 60 mm is inclined at 50 degrees to the xy line. So it is 50 degrees inclination. So you will, when you draw this, you are going to get the locus of b in the top view. So once you get this, so we know that, <clears throat> but you know we don't know the true length. So we need to find the true length. The true length, since we know the top view, we can find the true length in the front view because he has given the true inclination with respect to HP. So the true inclination with respect, with respect to HP can be seen in the vertical plane, so which is the front view. So what, since it is the true inclination, we have to make the top view line parallel to <coughs> XY. With the air center taking the radius of AB, which is 60 mm, we rotate makes us such that AB1 is made parallel to VP. So that is what we have made here. We can see that the line which is AB is rotated make it parallel to VP. Once you make it parallel to VP, so you are getting the true length in the VP. So then you draw the projection here and then you project this to the front view now. When you project this to the front view, but we know the true inclination because it is a top view line is already inclined to, already parallel to XY line in the top view, its corresponding front view will be in true length. So we need the true inclination which is 40 degrees to HP, so with the dash center uh, draw a line which is inclined so that it will going to cut this end projector here so you're going to get this point as b1 dash so now we will going to get the locus of b in the front view once you get the locus of b in the front view we can see because we have the top view and then this is uh, the, the the front view point of b b dash should lie on this end projector so with from b you draw a line which is are projected onto the locus of B in the front view, you will going to cut the locus of B in the front view, you are going to get this as B dash. So join A dash B dash, so this will going to be the front view and going to get the top view. But what we have to do now, we need to find out the true length in the top view. To make the true length in the top view, you have to make it parallel to HP. So to make it parallel to HP, once you know the front view, and the top view. Once you know the top view and the front view, you will going to get the line in space. You can see here capital AB, which is the line in space. Since we want to find out the true inclination with the true length in the HP, so we make the line parallel to HP. So with here center, taking the radius of AB, you rotate it and make it parallel to HP so that you can see that capital AB2 is the line which is parallel to HP. That means A is above HP by 30 mm capital B2 is also above HP by 30 mm. So now that line is parallel to HP. Since the line is parallel to HP, so you are getting the true length in the HP now. So now, once you get this, when you are rotating it in space, when you are looking from the front view, we can see that the image is being rotated. That is with A dash as center, A dash B dash as the radius, you draw an arc, make that parallel to HP. So that means A dash is above HP by 30 mm and B2 dash is also above HP by 30 mm. Now the line is parallel to HP so that we can see here and when it is projected, it will be projected onto the horizontal plane 
which will go into cuts the locus here. So now you will going to get the true inclination with respect to VP. So this is how you will be able to analyze this problem in three dimension and also the same thing which we have given in uh, orthographic view. So here the uh, point A is above HP by 30 mm and in front of VP by 30 mm. So once you draw this, then we know the top view which is inclined at 50 degrees having a length of 60 mm. So we're going to get the locus of B in the top view. Now we know the true inclination with respect to HP. So we make the top view line parallel to X Y line with E as center taking the radius of AB to make it parallel to VP. So once you make this parallel to VP, that is AB1 is parallel to VP. So you're getting the true length in VB. So from here you draw a, a vertical projector to different view, but we don't know the length, but instead we know the true inclination with A dash as center, draw a line which is inclined at 40 degrees to XY line. It will going to cut this end projector at this point, which will go to be B1 dash, then draw a horizontal dashed dot line projector. So then you write the locus of B here. So since this line is parallel to VP, so you are getting the true length. So you mark it as capital A and capital B. So once you know that, now we know the top view. So since we know the top view, we can draw the end projector here. So that will go into form, cuts the locus of the different view here. And you mark this point as B dash and join A dash B dash. And then to find out the true, true length in HP, we make the line parallel to HP. With A dash as center, taking the radius of A dash B dash, you rotate it, make it parallel to HP. So that means A dash is above HP by 30 mm and B2 dash should also be above HP by 30 mm. And so once you know the parallel to HP, so when you are projecting that, it will going to be on the locus of B in the top view. So you project that and cuts the locus of B here. So this point will going to become B2. Now the front view line is parallel to XY. So its corresponding top view will going to be in the true length. So this will be the true length and you mark this as capital A and capital B. So this is how you will be able to analyze this in the orthographic view. Now we will going to take up this step by step procedure of how to do, <coughs> how to solve this problem. So here he has given above HP and in front of VP. And since we know the top view and its inclination, to make the line top view parallel to XY. So when it is projected onto the front view, so you know the true inclination. Once you draw a 40 degree line, it will go into cuts here. So now we got the locus of B in the front view. And already we have the locus of B in the top view. So that is what we have done here. Once you get the top view and uh, the true inclination, you will be able to get the exact point. So then you rotate it and make it parallel. So you will go to get the true inclination here. And since because the true inclination is known, you will be able to find the locus of B. As we know the point AB is in space, when it is rotated and make it parallel to VP, then you draw a 40 degree line, it will come to cuts here. So you will going to get the locus of B in the front view. So this is how you will be able to get it in the first position. Then we need to write the true length in uh, HP. So once you know the top view, you project this to the front view, it will go to cuts the locus of B in the front view and you mark this as a a dash B dash as the front view with A dash as center taking the radius of A dash B dash and draw an arc and make that line parallel to HP and when it is projected onto the locus of B in the top view you will be able to find the true length and its inclination. So this is how you will be able to analyze in step by step procedure. Now we will going to solve the problem in the sketchbook. So first we are going to draw the XY line and mark XY and VP and HP. So as we know that one end of the line is 30 mm in front of VP and 30 mm above HP. So from XY line you measure 30 mm above XY line and draw a horizontal line. Similarly 30 mm above H and in front of VP. So from XY line you measure 30 mm below XY line and draw a horizontal line. And consider any point and then draw a vertical line so that it will go into cuts both the parallel lines at A dash and A respectively and you mark this point as A dash and A. Then we know that he has given the top view and its inclination. So from A uh, with A as center, by using the protractor, you measure an angle of 50 degree and draw an inclined line in the top view. Then by using the compass, you measure a radius of 60 mm and cut an arc so that you will going to get this point B. Then join A to B with that arc line. Once you get the point B, then we will going to draw a a horizontal dash dot line here. So we will going to get the locus of B in the top view. 
Now to find the locus of the different view by using the compass with A as center taking the radius of AB you draw a smooth arc such that it will go to cut the locus of A in the top view and make that AB1 parallel to VP. Once you make the parallel to VP then you project this line from B1 to draw a vertical projector to the front view now and then with A dash as center by using the protractor you measure an angle which is 40 degrees because he says it is a true inclination line with respect to HP so with A dash as center you measure the angle of 40 degrees and then draw a line so that it will going to cut this projector at this point and you mark this point as B1 dash and draw a horizontal dash dot line and mark this as the locus of B as we know that AB1 is the line which is parallel to VP so you are getting the true length here so you mark this as capital A and capital B in bracket. So once you get this, now we need to write the top front view. So since we know the top view, front, uh, top view with, from B as center, you draw a vertical projector to the front view so that it will go to cut the locus of B in the front view here and you mark this point as B dash, then join A dash B dash with a dark line. With a, then with A dash as center, taking the radius of A dash B dash, you rotate it and make it parallel to HP. This is due to, we have to find out the true length in the horizontal plane. So once you make that line A dash B dash parallel to HP, so that means A dash is above HP by 30 mm and B2 dash is also above HP by 30 mm. So a line A, A dash B dash is the front view, which is made parallel to XY line. Once you make that parallel to XY line, its corresponding top view will going to be in the true length from B2 dash, <coughs> You draw a vertical projector to the locus of B in the top view where it will go to cuts at this point. So you mark this point as B2. As we know that front view line is parallel, its corresponding top view will be in true length. So you mark this as capital A and capital B in bracket. So this is how you will be able to solve the solution and then you show the dimensions of 30 mm and here also 30 and then show the angle 30, 40 degree true inclination with respect to HP and show the dimension of 50 degree here then you know the top view here you make that uh, show the dimension of 60 and then to find out the true length by using the scale you measure the true length of the line which will be equal to 78.32 when you are doing it in computer when you are doing it in manual it will be 78 mm and the true inclination with respect to vp by using the protractor at a center with respect to the horizontal you measure this angle which will be equal to 5 which is equal to 36 degrees when you are doing it in computer it will be 35.93 so this is how we will be able to solve the problem in the sketchbook